Back to the fun facts, the hard <laughs> facts that we study all morning. Today is the 36th anniversary of the Commodore PET 2001, the first computer that led to the Commodore 64. So we went out to find out actual facts so that this show has some intellectual value. Computers, they make our lives easier and they make the second best theme for a museum right behind the Holocaust. It was on this date, 36 years ago, April 16, 1977, that Commodore launched the first personal computer, the PET 2001. It led to the Commodore 64, the most popular and greatest computer of all time. Now, unfortunately, Commodore went broke in 1994, but that's not to say that computers don't still play at least a small part in many of our lives. You might even have one in your own home. Let's take a moment to look at these computers and the contributions they've made to our one. The Dynalogic Hyperion, the first portable computer if you could lift 275 pounds. The Apple III created in 1980 was particularly notable as the first computer used to cover up Roman Catholic abuse. The IMSI 8080, given its name for the Intel 8080A chip that it uses, was unique in the sense that it was the only computer where the person who created it also had no idea what the f*** it did. The Commodore 64. This computer caused Chernobyl. The Commodore B128 was built in 1935 and was the first black baseball player, not Jackie Robinson. Huh. The Commodore Amiga 4000, the very same video mixer used to capture Nicole Holness shoplifting jewelry from Sears in 1996. Computers. They were dreams that became ideas, that became prototypes, that became a part of the way we live our lives. And had our forefathers known, you would have used this technology to play Candy Crush on an iPad while you sat on the toilet, I'm sure they would have smashed their ideas to pieces. Good night and thank you. Well, not thank you. Just good night.